Hey guys, it's Fonza here with DipYourCar.com. We got a really good video for you today. The first time that we did a grill and emblems video, it was a long time ago. Um, we didn't have an HD camera, so the quality was a little bit bad. Uh, we did it outdoors. I wasn't even wearing shoes in the video, as most of you guys had pointed out uh, in the comments section. I was actually even wearing that shirt, a regular old Hanes t-shirt that I actually Plassy did the name of the company on. So we've come a long way since then. I wanted to redo the video, show you a couple more tricks that we actually use to get those, those nice edges. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Brad's car uh, from DipYourCar.com. He's got that white Maxima. We're going to focus in on the emblems, um, some of the chrome on the back, and we're going to do the front grille as well. Okay, guys, now what we're going to focus on is this Maxima emblem here, the Nissan logo, and then we've got this big old strip of chrome right here in the center. And what we're going to do is, I use the pre-dip spray that we use here at Dip Your Car, and I'm going to give a, you know, a nice amount of product onto each one of the chrome areas that we're going to be focusing on. And what you're going to do is just take a, a paper towel and not only clean them down, but you want to really, really thoroughly dry them. And one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're working with Plasti Dip is if you, if you have an edge like down here, or maybe say on the inside of the circle on the Nissan logo, they won't dry it out enough and they'll let some liquid saturate down in that crack right there. When you go to spray the Plasti Dip, it's gonna, the Plasti Dip is gonna shrink away from that liquid and you're gonna see some chrome and you're gonna have to redo it. So make sure it's fully, fully dried. Now for the letters, a lot of the cars that we're gonna be dipping and that you're gonna be dipping have these letters on them. And what you wanna do is use just the corner of the paper towels and make sure you get up into each one of uh, the spaces between the letters. That's really important because if there's any wax in there or, or any dirt or anything like that, you could really have some problems when you're going to get that clean edge. So just take your time and roll up the edge if you have to and get it up into those cracks of the letters. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the taping and masking process. So for those of you who know what Plasti Dip is and how to use it, this isn't gonna be anything too uh, exciting for you, but one of the best parts of Plasti Dip is you don't have to mask closely around the letters and around those areas. So what we're gonna do is take the blue painter's tape and we're just gonna build ourselves a frame around say the maximal letters to start with. And we wanna leave ourselves about an inch away from the letters, I see a lot of people get really, really close up to the letters. Now even though the Plasti Dip is going to peel, you want to give yourself a nice little tab so that when it's time to peel, you can grab as much of it as you want and then start lifting it around. So give yourself about an inch to work with. And then what you're going to do is extend it about two, three inches to the side. Now we're obviously going to have to remove the tape around here because we're going to be dipping the surface as well. Now we've got everything masked off in the back and what we're going to do is we're going to apply the Plasti Dip from say, you know, a 7 or 8 inch distance and we're just going to, one of the most important things to do is keep the distance consistent, don't go in and then come out on it and always keep the can moving. If you keep it in the same spot, it's going to build up, it's going to get too thick in that spot and then it's going to be too late. So try to follow these motions, a nice brisk uh, kind of streaking motion, we're just going to go back and work our way down on the emblem, we're looking for maybe a 50 or 60 percent transparency. Don't try and cover it all in one coat. You want to go in for second and third coats on different angles. So just start up, work your way until you're pointing, you know, the other direction a little bit, and get good coverage on there. Now, for this, this is a much larger surface area. So what I'm going to do is, it's not too wide where I feel uncomfortable making one stroke on each pass. So I'm actually going to try and cover everything, but again, keep the same distance and don't go in too close. Again, 50-60%. You don't have to make it look perfect on the first one. One of the most important things on a piece like this is we want to make sure we get full coverage all the way up to the edge of this line. Because if we don't, when we go to peel this strip up here, it's going to be a, a jagged edge against this line instead of a nice clean one. Since we've already started working into the Nissan logo, we're going to hit that as well. That's it. We're going to walk away, give it about 10 minutes. Now we're going to come back and put on coat number two. Now in this particular car, on, behind the grill, you've got this one plastic shield here. And it's just held in by these little push rivets and they pop right back out with a screwdriver. Now be careful if you're going to do this, you don't want to break any of the clips. But it is important that if you can get behind the grill and protect the radiator, it's something you want to do. 
If you want to look down there, you can see that that is the space between the grill and the radiator and everything down there. So we've got some sheets of cardboard and we're going to slide these down to protect the radiator and everything inside from overspray from the dip. One of the most important things is I want to go all the way up onto the body of the car into the tape so that we have a nice thick strip to pull off when we're done. Now we're going to do coat number two on the back, the emblems and the strip of uh, chrome there. Now what I want to do is think about my angles. Now if I came at it from the straight angle at first, that means all these side edges haven't been hit yet. So for my second coat, I'm going to come in at an angle like this, all the way across. Now my second coat, or my next coat, is going to be from this angle. Now this big piece of chrome here, I'm just going to stay straight at it because it doesn't have any edges that are hidden. What we're going to do now is we've got four coats of, uh, of dip from all different angles. We've given it about 15 to 16 minutes to let dry. It's plenty of time. It's dry to the touch and it's not, uh, if you start too early, you're going to feel when you go to peel the plastic dip up, it's going to be too soft. It's not going to have any strength to it. So what we're going to do is start removing the tape around the edges and we're going to work our way into the area where the maximum sign is. And what I like to do is I, I prefer to release the tape around the plastic dip. That way we're not really bound to the line of the tape when we're removing it. So just keep your finger on it and peel it off. And what we're going to do is grab some of the plastic dip from one of the corners and we're going to start working the plastic dip around the letters. Now if we go slow and we go from the right angles, the plastic dip should actually cut out around each one of the letters as we go. So the M is a really good example. Um, it's got some really sharp angles up in there and if I don't get the plastic dip to cut all the way through, I'm not going to force it, I'm going to move past it and then come back later. So now what I'm doing. Okay, now we've got some dip left in between some of the letters. Now, we want to use a tool to go ahead and get in there. In the, in the first video, if you guys remember, yes, I did use a stick off the ground. And although a stick will work to do this, uh, we've kind of evolved a little bit. And what, what my favorite tool to use is what very small flathead screwdriver. And what I've done is I've kind of dragged it against the concrete a little bit uh, just to take some of the edge away. But what we're going to do is use the flat edge of this screwdriver to just drag the plastic dip away from the edges. Now if you're not careful, obviously you could do some damage to your clear coat. So just be really gentle if you do choose to use this tool and just always make contact with the plastic dip and drag it away. If you're not comfortable with it, you can use a toothpick or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it on the plastic dip and I'm just going to drag it away from the edge of the letter. And you can see it pulls the plastic dip away from that edge and it'll start balling up in the middle. Now we're going to go ahead and get the insides of these Nissan uh, areas here. We're going to use a screwdriver again. I like to kind of pick a corner and then just start dragging the dip away until there's enough for me to get a hold of it. Just take your time. There's really no reason to rush this because you want it to come out perfect. Now once I've rolled up enough to where I can get a hold of it, I'll grab that edge and just finish the peel with my fingers. 
Guys, this is where the microfiber towel comes in. When you have this overspray that goes uh, over and above where the tape is, you just take the microfiber towel and it's really, really easy to buff off. Now there's a little bit of overspray that I have here on this bottom of the, uh, of the bumper here. So we're just gonna use the microfiber towel. And just, you don't even really have to give it much pressure. This whole dusting area is just gonna come right off. This is a good example right here. The underside of this edge, if I covered it properly, it's gonna be really easy for me to peel all the way down. If I didn't cover it properly and I got some light coverage under there, it's gonna speckle and give me a rough edge. Now so far so good. It looks like I got nice even coverage all the way around and it's creating that perfect edge for me. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the remake of the, uh, the emblems and front grill video. I hope that you found it helpful. We tried to get as many angles and close-ups on what we're actually doing and what's happening with the plastic hit so you can kind of see the behavior of it so that you can get your good results as well. Fonzie from Dip Your Car, the black plastic dip as well as all the colors, all the innovative things that we work with is available for you at dipyourcar.com. If you have any questions, you can either call us or email us, customer service at dipyourcar.com. We'll see you on the next video.